Hey Tandem guys, welcome you back to another video. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. So this is the second episode of, uh, of this series, why the Guru-Disciple relationship is mandatory in life in order to be successful. In today's episode, I want to share powerful cognition that is based on the understanding of what is ego and how to discard ego in your life. Ego is basically the identity that we have created for ourselves after experiencing different situations in life and after coming to our own conclusions about what is life and how and why is life happening the way it is and how is things around us and we come to many many different kinds of conclusions which become the pillar of the identity that we create for ourselves. But unfortunately, as a child, we experience powerlessness in many of these situations, if not most of them. So what happens is that the identity that we create for ourselves is based on a powerless experience of ourself in front of life. So um, Swamiji was sharing about his experience with his guru and he made a very straightforward, very powerful statement, which is, Man cannot make it, he has to be given. To heal the ego, to discard the powerlessness in our life, you have to get it. When you get it, it is not you making it happen because you, the very understanding and idea that you have about you is based on your identity which is rooted in powerlessness. To discard this powerlessness, to manifest that enlightenment, you need to be in a space of powerfulness. So there's nothing that you can do towards getting it. You can go to a point where perhaps you exhaust yourself and you decide to surrender and then Guru gives you the experience or perhaps if you're very intense, like some of the sages in the past where they might not have had a Guru available to give them the experience, uh, Shiva manifested himself and uh, gave the experience in the form of a darshan uh, to the seeker that is uh, doing intense penance and who is holding an intense space to manifest the ultimate so that um, to manifest Shiva so that he can bestow the ultimate onto that being. So that is also a very important thing. Anything, there's nothing that we can do that can get us there. We can't make it. We can just come to a point where we are exhausted and we realize that we can't make it and at that moment we surrender and we allow the Guru to give us the experience. So that is why following the Guru, aligning to the Guru, having a Guru, cherishing this Guru-Disciple relationship is must because when the time is right, when we, when we surrender and we open the inner space, the Guru can simply give the experience uh, to us and then we can firmly establish ourselves into, a experience, uh, into that experience and realize our Paramashivatwa. We can realize that we are the ultimate. So that's also a very important thing. Man cannot make it, he has to be given. So that's the powerful cognition and uh, simple understanding that I wanted to bring forward to you in this video. So, uh, you know, contemplate on it and really uh, think how Guru is going to help you to fulfill what you want. So with this, I'll see you guys in another episode of this Guru-Disciple relationship. Nityananda.